another one soon how I only have two hands this is my vision board I always feel so guilty like when I have to take time off daddy's home tomorrow you'll have dinner then hello guys I've just started editing the video that you're just about to watch and I realized I never did like an intro to it I literally just picked up the camera and started filming and it's a very much like a fly on the wall kind of style vlog at the beginning like literally the first five minutes is not even me talking you just see everything that me and George do for our morning until nap time until i had a second to breathe and then um yeah and then we get to chatting a little bit so let me know what you kind of think of this style of vlog because i actually really enjoyed filming it because i didn't have to think about like picking up the camera i literally just popped it down and just carried on with my day um so it's like a really raw like insight into just life obviously as you see uh george and i were both off of work and nursery and actually we had a really lovely day yes it was stressful at times Yes, I share that, but also it was just really lovely. So let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, let's get into the vlog and enjoy the first five minutes of not me talking and just like chilling out and listening. And then I go into a massive ramble about mum life and anxieties about becoming a mum of two and things I'm looking forward to in life. I don't know. If that's your kind of thing, then stay tuned. But yeah, that is what's coming up. Um, and I need to change my bed now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> You do your bike, sorry. Yeah. 
Now I need a plate and we need to get some bread. Bye. I am after this morning. It's currently one o'clock. I was just about to say George has just gone down for his nap, but I've just heard him cry. He did go down for his nap. About 10 minutes ago, and now he's crying again. Okay, now George is asleep. Um, <laughs> what's the time? It's quarter to two now. <laughs> I've just made myself a cup of tea. Um, as you will have seen, we went out for a walk um, and that feels like a lifetime ago. And oh my goodness, it was so lovely to get out um, of the house and let George go down like around on his bike and stuff. We decided to go to the park and then we went a little bit further to this like skate park and then a little bit further to another park. George just wanted to carry on walking. And to be honest, I kind of let him have that autonomy when we're in a safe area because if it's safe like there's no real damage that can be done and it definitely puts him in a better mood to like have the freedom to do what he wants um and then he listens to me when things are like you know if I need him to listen to me so like, if we're coming up for a road he will hold my hand because he doesn't feel like I've been restricting him from doing all this other fun stuff throughout the rest of the day at least that's what I found recently but the mistake I did make is I, it was just me, so it was just me, his bike and him, and so I didn't really have a backup plan for when he got tired, um, and he definitely got tired because he went quite far, um, he got tired on this walk and, um, he wasn't, he was like being good as gold, like he was listening to me and stuff, and a few times like he carried on walking and held my hand because he didn't want to ride his bike anymore, and I carried his bike for him, totally fine, but it got to a point where he was like, tired and cold and he just wanted to be carried and I cannot carry him and his bike for more than like five or six steps like it was insane so I was trying it was so like bless people though like people in their walks were like trying to help and stuff and like trying to get him to like walk on his own they were like oh come on little one you can do it mommy's tired and I was like yeah mommy's tired um but no George was not listening anyway he very much just wanted to be carried so the walk back took a long long time he was obviously tired he was obviously um hungry as well because it was like just past lunchtime at this point and yeah I didn't really think that part through I probably should have taken the buggy but he never gets I've never like tired him out that much or at least Maybe I have, but I've never been the one that has to carry him. Um, or we've had the buggy. I'm not really sure. Like, it always just seems... I never seem to have to carry him. Or, like, he never wants to be carried. It's always, like, the ultimatum of, you know, hold mommy's hand or you have to be carried. And he doesn't like either of those things. <laughs> so, uh, and he normally does choose the option to, like, hold my hand. Um, like, again, that's normally, like, around roads and stuff. Or, like, if we want him to do something in a safe way like we'll try and say like hold mummy's hand or you like I'll carry you either one you choose and like give him that choice and you know about 70% of the time that works maybe 60% I will not be doing that again um I'll definitely either take a buggy or yeah just take an extra person with me next time that kind of leads me on to my next thought was when I was out and about with George obviously yeah I'm pregnant at the moment which makes things a little bit difficult but equally like when I've got a newborn or like a baby in general or just having two kids like outings like that are going to be so much harder or at least at least in the beginning like the logistics of it and like getting used to it I just don't I just don't know like of what uh life is going to be like and I feel like that's the thing that makes me nervous to have two kids is like just the general logistics of life day to day like how it's going to affect 
getting to the car and like getting out of the car and going to the shops. Not that we do that a lot with George anyway. I tend to do a lot of like online shopping or my husband goes and gets the shopping. We don't often take George. Um, but like, I don't know, just like the day to day stuff of like taking George in and out of the car. That in itself is like quite a struggle with him sometimes when there's like a bit of that power struggle and he's, you know, expressing his emotions in a very, you know, open way shall we say um to do like to deal with that as well as having a baby in my arms or like in a buggy or strapped to me I don't really know like how does that work like god parents of two like help me because I just I just had this little epiphany as I was like carrying him and his bike I was like I'm gonna have another one soon how I only have two hands I only have space for a toddler on a bike and barely even that I don't even have the strength for that at the moment so like, how does this work? <laughs> and then I started thinking about buggies and buggy boards and whether to get a double buggy or not. And, oh gosh, there's just so, like, it feels like there's still so much to think about. Um, and I have thought about those things. It's just, I, I came to the conclusion that I didn't need a double buggy and I just wanted to get a buggy board for our current buggy. But I just don't know if that's the right decision or not. I just can't make my mind up. But anyway, yeah, I carried George back for almost a mile, um, all in all. Like, he walked a little bit, then I carried him, then he walked a little bit, then I carried him. Um, and so that was fun. Also, the other thing is we walked past uh, the primary school that George will probably end up going to when he is of school age. He doesn't go to school for ages, like, not until 2025. Um, but we walked past the school, and it's, like, quite really close to our house. Um, and it was just, like, really lovely lovely to I don't know just think about like having two kids and they're going to go to that school and they're going to be two school years apart um which is really really like I was in I was an only child and I like I really was envious of kids that had like an older brother or older sister like in a couple years above or the year above or something I just loved that like I don't know if that's a really weird thing maybe that's an only child thing like like, it's not really that big of a deal, but I, yeah, having not had siblings and then now to, like, know that my kids are going to have each other um, growing up is just, I don't know, really special. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm getting all emotional about it and realising that, yeah, George is going to have a baby brother or sister soon, but they're not going to be babies forever. They're going to be kids. They're going to be, like, siblings and grow up together and experience life together. And they're going to have a fairly close age gap, like, two and a half years well, two, two years and nine months is going to be the age gap. They're going to be going to school together and, like, we can go on family holidays together. Like, I'm really looking forward to doing some, like, family breaks in the UK and um, going camping and, like, experiencing things, like, as a family. And I feel like now, basically, George is at an age now where he can do stuff and he's having fun and he's giving stuff back and he's, like, talking and being really, like, engaging and actually sometimes even listening, which is, like, you know... <laughs> To have, like, two kids at that point and above, like, that's what I'm really, really looking forward to. Don't get me wrong, like, I obviously love baby stage and toddler... Like, I do love the toddler stage, even though I moan. Like, it's difficult, don't get me wrong, but they are cute. But, like, at Georgie's age now, um, I'm, like, seeing the light, if that makes sense. Like, I'm seeing what our future's going to be with our two kids, and I'm just... It just makes me seem happy, so... Yeah, that's sort of what I'm clinging on to. So I made my little vision board and I'm on Canva. I'm going to show you it to you. So this is my vision board. This is everything on my vision board. And this is like definitely not a 2023 goal. These are like my sort of life goals, basically. And the thing is, they're all very... Not all, maybe not the house. That house there is maybe not that attainable. Maybe that's something I'm going to have to work very, very, very hard for. Along with achieving um, 100,000 subscribers. But the rest of it is like, that's my life. That's what my life is going to look like. Like going away with kids. Um, going away to like locations in the UK. And going camping and eating nice food. To be fair, that one tried to represent... Um, this is sushi, like mine and Ash's favourite. Like takeout food or going to eat out food. So... Um, that was like to represent doing more date nights and stuff um but the rest of it is like family and like working from home and like going to beautiful places like this having the freedom to do that with the kids and going to like beautiful um beaches on the south coast and like traveling and 
just having like amazing times as a family and just like experiencing the small things as well. That's just what I want my life to be. And I feel like, I don't know, I'm just in a very content and happy place, um, which is really nice. And even like things like, it's so strange, like things like today when I obviously went out with George and he was like, you know, I couldn't carry him and he was getting a bit frustrated and stuff. Like I would have, like there, there's been times where I would get frustrated about that. And for some reason, I was just not as stressed about it. Like, I just was like, okay, you know, it's fine. We can take ages to walk home. It's not a big deal. Obviously, like, today is a day where I am off work. George is off nursery. Like, we haven't got a deadline. Like, there's no reason for me to stress. On days where I have work and he has nursery and we have places to be, get places to get to and deadlines and things like that, it's more stressful because there's added, like, pressure in different areas um the reason we're off like work and nursery today it's a weekday but we're off work and nursery because he had a temperature yesterday morning so he can't go into nursery for 24 hours um after like having that temperature and not having any cowpaw and stuff so kept him off today but he'll be going back in tomorrow i've missed work um today and a little bit of yesterday as well but it just kind of had to happen, like, I know that it's a bit, I do, I always feel so guilty, like, when I have to take time off, um, especially when George isn't actually ill, like, he's fine today, obviously, I understand the rules from nursery and everything, um, but he is totally fine today, so I feel really guilty that I have to take the time off, like, I feel guilty on work that I've got to take the time off, however, I also am at a point now where I think, you know what, like, he obviously comes first, and that's just that. Like, I'm not going to try and stretch myself and put myself in a situation where I'm doing a rubbish job at work and a rubbish job of being a parent at the same time. And he's just sat in front of the telly all day, bored, um, like, and I'm trying to work and I'm not really doing either job properly. Like, I'm just not doing that. Like, that's just not... What is the point? So, um, I've tried to do that, like, so much. Like, last year when he was... Um, like, the first year he was in childcare and like nursery he was sick a lot and that's just because he was exposed to like all these new germs and you know like hadn't ever been sick or anything and now he was going to childcare and getting like every sickness and bug and cold under the sun and obviously that was a lot closer to covid times as well so everyone was a bit more wary of like little things like a cough so he was off a lot which meant i was off work a lot and i felt i was made to feel quite guilty um from my old work I don't work there anymore but I um yeah I just don't really I don't feel I do feel guilty on like my work colleagues and stuff however I know what my priority is and it's obviously going to be George and if I have to take time off I have to take time off that is just what it is um yeah so that's sort of where I stand with it but anyway yeah like I said I'm having my cup of tea because I bloody deserve it after that track home I'm gonna do some editing and then yeah I don't know, I'll catch up with you in a bit, I guess. <laughs> George has just woken up from his nap and I'm going to make him a little milk. I'm going to have a hot chocolate. I've just made my milk nice and warm and i'm gonna do a hot chocolate for myself and a little milk for him he calls it a little cup of tea because i do it in this i'm also boiling the kettle because it's freezing and i'm gonna do myself a hot water bottle <laughs> put a spoonful of my hot chocolate in there so it's nice and sweet for him while George is just having a bit of a chill out um, whilst he wakes up from his nap, I'm having my hot chocolate. I've just started thinking about dinner and I think I'm going to do the feta and like tomato pasta bake thing. George really likes that. I'm going to chuck some extra veggies in the air fryer and then chuck those in there as well. I've had to rethink some of the things that I am cooking this week just because obviously where George is at home, he um, will need dinner here. He normally eats at nursery. But um, he's been having like lunch and dinner with me, so I haven't been cooking some of the things that I was going to cook. Because like last night, for example, I was going to do these like spicy chickpea wraps for myself. Um, 
but like I don't want to be cooking two separate meals and obviously George isn't going to have like spicy chickpea wraps he might have had like chickpea wraps but I might not have liked them as much because they're not as like flavoursome so I yeah I'm just like re-evaluating what I'm making and that feta pasta bake is like super easy and delicious and we both really love it so yeah that's what I'm going to do chuck some extra veggies in and nice and easy so it's only gonna take me like 20 minutes it's quarter past four um so he slept for a long time i got loads of editing and stuff done but yeah it's just got super cold um i've only tried to put the heating on like i've put the heating on twice today like for a boost of one hour and i feel guilty for having done that like which is just insane really like do you know what i mean like i, I budget like a fair amount of money for gas and electric every single month but the gas prices at the moment are insane and I know that I don't have to tell you guys because you're probably doing the same thing. Like I just, anything to keep myself warm, hot chocolate and um, hot water bottle. Obviously I don't put too close to the bump, but um, I've got like loads of layers on. So it's just nice. It's like cuddling a warm, a warm teddy bear. I'm going to go finish this. Go sit in there with George, go and play with the trains a little bit. And then I'll start dinner a little bit later. Okay. It is a little bit later now. I have just finished playing with George. He's made this really fun game with his train track. Um, so he's busy playing that, but I'm just going to start dinner. I'm going to do the simplest dinner ever. Basically cut up your courgette, pop these in the air fryer, maybe cut them into half. So cut these two things up and then in the middle, put the feta cheese in the middle with a bit of garlic, a little bit of oil, salt and pepper. And then that in, in the air fryer for like 15, 20 minutes, if that. Cook up some pasta and then when it's like all cooked, put them both together, mix it all together and it's the most delicious pasta ever. Wow. Okay, this in the air fryer. Yeah. Put this in the air fryer. Yeah. So please be careful. Garlic in. Feta cheese, in it goes. Pepper, in it goes. And there we have it, the most simple and delicious meal for me and George. We're gonna absolutely love this. Still leftovers for tomorrow lunchtime as well, which is perfect, or maybe even dinner. Who knows? But yeah, that is our dinner, and I'm so excited to eat this. Anyway, yeah, this is the state of the living room whilst I was cooking because obviously George can't be left alone for five minutes without destroying the house. Pardon? Oh, but I don't know what you're saying, darling. I'm gonna have dinner, and you're gonna have dinner. And then it's playtime and probably bedtime soon as well. Guys, I am going to start dinner and then I'm going to... Daddy's home tomorrow. You'll have dinner then. Daddy's having dinner at work tonight. Yeah, yeah, tonight he is. Um, anyway, I will love you and leave you. I think I'm going to leave it there. I'll do bath time and bedtime after this. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I've got to go. I'm gonna love you and leave you. Bye. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby.